researchers are drowning in data. Thanks to advances in gene sequencing, imaging devices, and computing, scientists are collecting data faster than they can analyze it. And that's why many researchers are latching on to the enthusiasm of gamers to help crowdsource answers to research challenges. These issues range from mapping neural connections to helping scientists explore human cell proteins. And much of the problem solving relies on the human ability to find patterns. Some of the most successful so-called citizen science games are designed to emulate hugely popular games such as World of Warcraft. One science game has even been created to be embedded into a pre-existing one. The example is Project Discovery, launched by researchers working on the Human Protein Atlas, a massive database of human protein data information. Project Discovery is integrated into a multiplayer video game called EVE Online. Set thousands of years in the future, the objective of EVE is for players to build empires within a Star Wars-like landscape. The objective of Project Discovery is for players to identify different categories of protein patterns present in cell images that are shown on screen. This tutorial for Project Discovery gets players familiar with their mission. We start with an image of a group of cells where the protein in question has been stained green. The objective is to discover which categories the sample belongs to. Your task is to identify the categories present in the cell sample. Once we believe you have become good enough at analyzing, we will start handing you samples that we don't know the answer to, and you'll be working with the EVE community to reach a consensus. Taking place in a more microscopic world, Eterna is an online game created by a team at Stanford University. It calls on players to solve puzzles, building sets of proposed molecules with the goal of designing a molecule of RNA capable of detecting tuberculosis. It's part of the Stanford researchers' effort to come up with a more efficient, low-cost way of testing people for the disease. Eterna players, this is where you come in. To help us get ready to target tuberculosis, we've made two major updates to the Eterna project. First, veteran players and developers have created a new, beautiful set of puzzles so that within a couple days of play, you will not only understand the basic principles of RNA design, you will understand the experimental tools that we use and the feedback that you'll get. Now, every month, if you can get us a million molecules, we can synthesize all of them and rapidly process those data using our supercomputer. By the latest count, an estimated 1.2 million people in 140 countries are playing research games online that tackle quantum physics, analyze protein structures, or investigate genetic diseases. Some researchers are even hiring commercial designers to produce games that will keep players engaged. The stakes are high. Since the purpose goes beyond topping the leaderboard, scientists hope that these games will be key in helping solve some of the world's biggest public health challenges.